Hi, this is Gina Carr, your host for Bitminus TV. I am thrilled to be here today, and we have another exciting CEO update for you with CEO Tom Meredith. We have had a lot of things going on with BitMinutes. I know the big one, the really big one, is our rollout and launch in Nigeria. What's going on there? Yeah, hi, Gina. Uh, nice to see everybody again. Uh, Tom Meredith here, and uh, we're very excited about rolling out the Trusted Agent Network uh, in our first implementation into Africa, uh, with the country being Nigeria. We were fortunate enough to be introduced to a very uh, – a professional group that is uh, doing a fantastic job of marketing the Trusted Agent Network. And uh, we now have, I think we've had over like a thousand downloads uh, in just the, the few days that we've been up and running. And uh, we even have um, one of our first um, uh, African TAN agents, uh, women, uh, and coinciding with our Women for a Better World efforts uh, with Miss Nigeria of 2017. So it's uh, pretty exciting. Uh, they're doing a great job. Uh, they've given us great feedback. We've customized uh, the the, uh, the TAN market, the TAN uh, specifics to the Nigerian market, and it looks like it's going to be very successful. Yes, you know, I've been so impressed with our team there. They're really professional. They're on top of it. It's rewarding to me as the VP of Global Deployment trying to, you know, bring all these different parts together with the tech people and marketing and the sales and the financial exchange. And there's just so many moving parts to this, but it's been really rewarding. And the fact that our team there is just so on top of it, they're so motivated. It's, it's great to see in real life action, how important this service is to people in Africa. And so many people in the developed world, you know, we just take our financial tools for granted. And so to see that they see, wow, yeah, this is going to be able to help us do so much more than we can already do. It's just really rewarding and so glad that we've just been pushing, 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 making everything work. Yeah, and I think that's one of the things that um, when people talk about trying to address financial inclusion, uh, in in the developing world, that all you have to do is just create a token and bingo, everything just happens. No, there's there's a tremendous amount of infrastructure you have to put together. You have to meet all the regulatory requirements. You have to find good in-country uh, uh, partners like we have in Nigeria and the other five countries in uh, in Africa that we're active in. And so it, it's critical to have that infrastructure, to have the right partner, in addition to the technology that has to surround the actual token itself. In this case, uh, the Trusted Agent Network mobile app that allows people to onboard either themselves or to onboard other people, uh, getting this uh, network marketing and viral effect going, uh, which is what uh, we believe will really drive this and it provides that ecosystem uh, to allow BitMinutes to be used uh, to uh, do free money transfer, free global top up for 4 billion people, as well as uh, be used as collateral for a loan. So it's, uh, we think we're way ahead of anyone else in this space because of the, uh, the four or five years we've been working on building the entire ecosystem, not just the token itself. Yeah, all these different vendor relationships that you've had to develop and people uh, with the, the, in the different countries and such, it's been really critical. You've mentioned Miss Nigeria. She's just such a delight and she has been doing so much for the people of her country already and she sees that this will really have a big impact. One of the areas of our technology that the people in Nigeria are particularly excited about is the fact that they can take the tokens directly from the app and move it into their bank account as fiat. So it's mm -hmm. really very seamless and, and quite exciting. Exactly. The whole idea is, is to make it as easy to use because in many cases, uh, they might have little stores, they might have um, be selling prepaid phone time out of um, little, little kiosks, no bigger than, than a desk. Uh, and we had to make it simple for them. And again, that feedback has come uh, from our partners there. And what we're learning there, we're, we're applying to the other countries that we're rolling out the Trusted Agent Network here in the, in the Q1 of 2019. Big things to come in 2019. Another thing that's happened in Q1 of 2019 is that the smart exchange has rolled out. And I know that's really critical for what we're trying to do as we expand around the globe. Can you please explain what's going on with smart exchange and why this is so important for us? Yeah, certainly. We, we realized, again, as part of the, the ecosystem or infrastructure we had to build, uh, we had to create an exchange uh, platform or, or partner with someone, which is what we've done. A company called Shift has been able to, uh, uh, to customize uh, their their basic platform uh, to allow us to uh, adopt uh, BitMinutes not only to the cryptos of the world. I mean, anybody can do a crypto to crypto exchange, but what we're working with them to do is to create a BitMinutes to a local fiat exchange because we have to support the Nigerian Naira, the Colombian peso, the Mexican peso, the Philippine peso. 
And there's no exchange in the world that's going to stop everything they're doing and customize those types of currency pairs uh, for the Bitmin. So we found someone who's willing to take an existing platform and to help us to, to customize this integration. And it's taken a fair amount of work because again, we're, we're asking them to do a, a fair amount of uh, technical, um, um, I would say very uh, specific technical integration because we're, we're involved with all the banking systems of these countries. So there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes, but it, it was critical for us to be able to make a market in these various currencies that no other exchange that, that, that we'd spoken to uh, would be willing to customize. So we're very lucky to find these folks and they have, uh, they have deep pockets behind them. Uh, they trade a tremendous amount of uh, foreign exchange on a daily basis. So uh, it, it's, it's not going anywhere. And uh, again, we're, we're very pleased to be working with them. Well, speaking of banking relationships, I hear there's some good news in, in Colombia. Yeah, we, uh, we've been working with a, a major financial services network. I think they've got like, oh gosh, 500 stores, uh, maybe even more scattered throughout Colombia, uh, where they do money transfers and they do make small loans. And they do like uh, what BitMinutes does because it, again, just reduces the friction and the cost of providing these types of financial services uh, to people who may have a, a phone but no bank. Uh, so we, we just got uh, approval uh, from the Colombian government, the central bank, in fact, uh, to use BitMinutes um, in this capacity because I think they realize that uh, as we reduce friction and apply the, uh, the technology to helping people build their credit and gain access to small loans, and our partner there realizes, hey, with the way we've structured it, they can make money on a $5 loan, which just about any bank on the planet is uh, incapable of doing. You, you really have to have uh, a crypto uh, technology to be able to track the transactions as well as a mobile app that allows you to reach that unbanked population and to automate the process. You know, we KYC the people, we take photos of their IDs, we take photos of themselves, everything is date and time stamped and rolled out uh, into, uh, into the, uh, the audit trail that blockchain permits. So without blockchain, without tokens, without mobile apps, we couldn't do a profitable $5 loan. And again, another fantastic partner. Uh, the, the, uh, the rollout has been delayed because of the central bank issues, but now that we've gotten that permission, uh, Q1 is gonna be great in Colombia as well. Um, same thing goes for Mexico. There were some concerns there regulatory wise but uh, we just recently signed up 35 credit unions representing, I believe over 15, 1,500 locations perhaps. It's, it's, it's a big number, but uh, what it boils down to is it's the same validation of the technology because we're uh, again, providing these services at such a low price point, free money in terms of the money transfer. And of course, uh, getting access to a $5 loan because uh, half of Mexico is unbanked. It's just, just amazing how many people are still unbanked in Mexico. So same thing in Mexico. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty exciting. For those who do have a bank account, though, that's another good thing that our technology allows in Mexico is the ability to move BitMinus directly from the BitMinus app into a bank account as fiat. So that's just... Um, to me, that's just amazing. You know, I mean, having been in crypto for a while and it's so hard, okay, you got to turn crypto into this and you got to turn crypto into this. And eventually one day you'll get into a bank account. So right, right. I, I love that we can do it directly from our BitMinutes app into the bank accounts in these places. Right. And that, and that is the, uh, the, the joke point. And that's what the regulators are concerned about. And again, we've, we've been a licensed MSB for many years. So we're, we're very cognizant and very aware of uh, the requirements for AML, you know, anti-money laundering and, and know your customer requirements. Um, and uh, we've been integrated to the Mexican banking system, but it only reaches half the people in Mexico. So right now, approximately 50 million accounts in Mexico, we can send money directly to from the United States or within Mexico. Reaching those other 50 million is where the, uh, the mobile, the, the TAN mobile app comes in and to reaching out with uh, uh, the credit unions and giving them the ability to go uh, person to person or door to door where people don't actually even have to go into a credit union, a brick and mortar location. They can just simply either use their own phone to onboard themselves or to find a trusted agent uh, to be able to give them the cash to get it into the system. You know, jumping back to uh, person to person, that's one of the most exciting things that our partners in Nigeria are doing. They've recruited a lot of uh, folks, I think mostly younger kind of college student people, and they're, they've literally, you know, put them out on the streets at sporting events and such, you know, with their phones and walking up to people and saying, hey, do you know about BitMinutes and show it to them on their phone. And so it's a very much a grassroots approach. And we're having some really great success with that. 
Yeah, that and then the other uh, one of the other deals we have working on uh, in Mexico now that we're talking about Mexico is a, a, a company called WeFone. Uh, much like WeChat, it's a, a Chinese company that has a, a free messaging platform. They have over 40 million customers and we'll be doing a test into Mexico here shortly. Uh, in fact, I think we just came up with the language uh, right before Chinese New Year. But as soon as Chinese New Year is over, we're going to be doing a test of a free money transfer to Mexico uh, using the WeFone uh, app. So it's uh, it's very exciting. There's a, a lot of synergies there with 40 million people scattered around the world that they'll be offering free money transfer uh, on their app here. We hope, uh, uh, hopefully knock on wood by the end of Q1 because it's going, it's very, going very quickly. There's a tremendous number of synergies there. Gosh, so many exciting things going on. Another area of the company that's uh, really, you know, things that, that are looking good is our Women for a Better World initiative. And I'm so appreciative of your support of that, Tom. I, it, it's just been a great collaboration and, so for Bitmans to support this, and I know we have some new ideas. Just do you want to give us a little little taste of what you have in mind there? Yeah, well, well, when we saw the State of the Union address uh, uh, last night, uh, when when they announced the uh, the initiative to empower women uh, that are um, again, uh, let's say, uh, who are let's say underserved by the financial services uh, community, that uh, we think it's a perfect uh, a perfect relationship for us to try to, to work with uh, with the White House and with Congress. And uh, we have some excellent uh, relationships um, uh, into the government, uh, which uh, you know, helps us with some of the foreign entities that we deal with. So uh, we're going to be pursuing that. Uh, we're looking at do, doing uh, more charitable events. We've got a, uh, a big charity in Mexico, in fact, that wants to distribute uh, $10 million of, uh, of aid. Um, in one way, shape, or form using BitMinutes. We're just preliminary discussions there. And uh, we basically are trying to do this as much as uh, we can with uh, charities around the world. And we believe that's something that uh, is going to be important to us as we, as we go forward. I know we all were exchanging emails last night as soon as President Trump said what he said about women in the developing world, because it's like, was he listening in on our phone calls? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. We're, we're definitely channeling the, the zeitgeist here in terms of uh, global priorities. I, I'm sure it's on a lot of people's minds, but uh, I'm glad that we're at the forefront of it. I know Philippines and China are still still warm. Still in the works. Uh, been going back and forth with the Philippines folks, and uh, they still want to move forward. They're, in fact, they're talking about doing a broader uh, scope. They're talking about Malaysia. They're talking about Vietnam, Cambodia. In fact, I met the principal in Cambodia, uh, oh gosh, sometime I think in uh, October, November. That's when we first met and that's where we broached uh, the idea. And we have, we have a contract that we're negotiating, but it's still not done. It's never done until it's done. Um, other than the WeFone opportunity in China, we're talking to a network marketing group there in China that's uh, had 2 million uh, people involved in their organization. Um, so that's ongoing. And again, after Chinese New Year, we expect that to fire back up. Um, we believe we have a bank that will allow us to go nationwide and uh, we've got verbal approval. And so the devil's always in the details as to how we compensate them. But uh, so far uh, we've passed our compliance test because of our history of, um, uh, of being a money transfer company. And uh, we have a very um, strong advocate at the CEO level there. So that that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, of course, uh, we, we'd love to have you join us uh, with uh, bitminutes.com. Uh, uh, we're, we're doing a lot of good for a lot of people, and uh, we hope that you can you know, join us in, uh, in the journey. And, and uh, Gina, I appreciate all the work you do with uh, Women for a Better World and, and helping us to uh, roll these out in the various countries. Well, I'm honored to be part of the team. It's very uh, rewarding and gratifying to be helping so many people on our mission to end global poverty. So thank you, Tom. And thank you, BitMinute supporters. We appreciate you. And we look forward to uh, learning more from you as far as what you'd like to see us doing, uh, how we can help you, how we can serve you. So with that, uh, go to bitminutes.com, see what's going on. Tune in to us through uh, our different channels, of course, YouTube, Facebook, Telegram, Twitter, Instagram. We're, we're all over the place and we love to interact with you. With or, that- Or uh, Trusted Agent Network, if, uh, if you want to help people, uh- uh, serve the underserved financially in, in any country. We're we're not launching here in the states, uh, but uh, we've got we've got 16 countries that are up and running today that were integrated to the banking system, and now it's just a matter of uh, uh, putting more and more trusted agents out there. So exactly. trustedagentnetwork.com is the other is the other uh, location. Okay. 
Well, with that, we're signing off today. Very good. Thanks, Gina.